shit. Oh. I'm trying to um, run. Ah. 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 Hold on. Yeah. Ah, I dropped the cap. Ugh. Howdy out, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Hope you like the sound of thunder and lightning. That's what we got going on today. Not in the real world, but right here. Welcome back to Stranded Deep. In conversation. I used that pause to get that bubble out of my mouth. You guys probably heard that for a second there. But not forever. And, uh, yeah. Good on me. I'm such a good, good guy. I'm just gonna take the headphones off. And I, I, I only just now realized I don't really need to hear what's going on in this game. Especially if all I do is just sit on the island and it consumes sardines. This is this is the life I'm meant to live, though. I feel like if there's any life that is meant to be lived, it would be this one. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I can't find the fish. Where did the fish go? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to. I can try to steer away from the actual game and just get into sort of just a talking, talking mood. Oh, there's some fish. Um, I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing pretty well myself. Uh, it is the 6th. It's the Thursday, believe it or not. It's Thursday, everybody. Uh, ooh, this is... Again, I always want to put some spoiled meat in my pocket before we start. Uh, but yeah, so this is a, just, you know, regular old Thursday. Nothing really crazy. I am off today, so I'm completely thrown off. Normally I like try to think of a topic and like get all this ready before like like 12 maybe. Uh, but it is 2 o'clock and I have not really thought about this at all. <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna go with it. Uh, apologies for missing last week. Again, like I just kind of took a bit of a break uh, just to kind of, you know, just gather my thoughts, and just, I not really thought, I really didn't do anything, I'm going to be completely honest, we're kind of speaking out of my shitter right now, but, I did, I did think about doing stuff, and then ultimately decided, eh, I'm going to take the week to just chill, so I chilled, and it was good, it was a good chill week, uh, this week has been pretty chill as well, and I've had two, just a fly in my room, god damn it, where'd the fly swatter go, how do I never have the fucking fly swatter on hand, hold on, <laughs> yeah, I got it. No, there's no way. Now there is nothing it can do against me. Except make us land on my food and make me sad. Right as I was about to hit record, my mom made me a chicken uh, bacon sandwich. So I'm living. This is good. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good day to be me. To say the least. But, yeah, um, I'm gonna try not to eat as much, but I also like eating it hot, so, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a pretty, pretty chill day. Uh, I've been cleaning my room, looking pretty good, mostly in the closet and stuff. Just getting stuff out, putting things in, really just rearranging some stuff. I went to Goodwill yesterday, because I had two days off. Yesterday I went to Goodwill, and I found something that I need to show you guys. Hold on. Let me. I have a few things actually. But this is this is my favorite far far and above everything else I got today. Oh yesterday. I'm not this isn't a pre recording, I swear. Um main can I can prove it. Cause here he is. Here wait, hold on. I have the camera open somewhere else. Turn that camera off. There we go. Now we're good. Camera. Right, I have the lens cap on as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Same shirt and everything. I noticed. I noticed the exact same getup from two days ago. Just fucking deal with it. I. It's been a lazy two days for me. What are you gonna do? Look at him. These nibbles. A little beanie boo dude. And he's like one of the old ones, like the classic style. Not crazy eyes. I used to have this guy. You can go away now. <laughs> go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, also, uh, I guess like it's not gonna work right now, but. You know one of those balls that when you touch it, it like make oh It took like ages to actually start working before. For whatever reason, I don't know if this is all of them, but it only really lets you do it on one finger at a time. I don't know if that's all of them. But it just kinda like rapidly changes between which finger it wants to do. Which I think is really fun. This is these things really fucking cool. It's really cool. <laughs> now you can go. Goodbye. <laughs> uh but yeah. 
I got nibbles and I was super happy because this is one of my oldest stuffed animals that I really had and I love this dude and I had a bunch of these little Beanie Boo guys and like we just had some crazy freaking I we me, me especially had a lot of crazy imaginative adventures of fun with these dudes and eventually I lost nibbles and then I found him again under something and he was missing an eyeball <laughs> and then eventually it was thrown away you know massive swarm attack <laughs> of cleaning uh, but I say for a long time now probably like almost 10 years if anything probably like over 10 years I don't know actually maybe the last close ish to 10 years I feel I have not had nibbles in my existence and then he just was there at Goodwill for three dollars I'm like oh dude I paid like seven dollars for him when I first got him this is stale and I'm so happy <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm over the moon right now. This, this is the best thing. I, I got some other stuff that you'll probably see in the future. Uh, but I, I'm just so happy about that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's the, that's that. Uh, in terms of this week in retail, let's get into this week in retail. I guess we could start with that, even though we just started with something completely different. Um, a few things, not a whole lot of crazy stuff. It was just kind of a pretty lame week. <laughs> Uh, but there was, I was counting the money in the registers, and someone wrapped up a bunch of bills to like save time for when I was counting them, so like I'd know how much is in that stack of bills. Like so, it had 400 on it, so it's supposed to be a, a fat stack of like 20s that totaled 400. And I counted the rest of the bills, and I'm like, I'm 60 bucks short. How is this possible? And so then I go into that stack, and it turns out there was 460 dollars in there instead of 400. So I don't know how they screwed that up, <laughs> but. They, they they almost fucked everything trying to be helpful, which is pretty funny. I don't, I don't blame them for it. Just mistakes happen. What are you going to do? But I just thought it was funny because <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting there like stealing over. I'm like, how is this possible? How is this so under? I'm like, well, let me just count this because you, know, you never know. Because uh, that, that it was just fucking crazy. And, and it worked. And I was like, okay, more work for me. And the only other thing that I really experienced was uh, the four, like 4th of July because I worked on 4th of July. I worked the later shift, and it was pretty boring. <laughs> uh, we mostly just uh, strayed in the aisles, uh, counted drawers, and played Uno for like two hours. And Family Feud. We played some Family Feud. Yeah, because I started playing Family Feud with them on the Sunday before, which is then what gave me the idea to do all that for fourth, so that'd be fun. Um, and then we played some more over there, and we're really bad at it, by the way. Like you saw me there, <laughs> that's like, that's like good for us. Like at work, we could not, for the life of us, get anywhere beyond like round. I think we got to round three in a tournament once that whole day, and we played it for a good bit. Not the entire time, obviously, but a fair decent chunk of our just off time. You know, there's something to do. We just dicked around playing Family Feud and Uno for a while. <laughs> And my god, that Uno match lasted fucking forever. The first one I won, it took like maybe like t t 10 minutes tops. Then the second one, they won after like maybe 20 minutes. But I was like, oh yeah, oh, how about this? And she was like, oh, okay, sure, yeah, we'll keep it going. And then like an hour and a half later, the game finished. And I'm like, oh my god, let's never do that again. <laughs> like, obviously, we were doing stuff in between, you know, trying to actually do work. But it wasn't much, to be honest. It was just a fun day. It was a fun day. A uh, pretty boring day, but it was fun, so I enjoyed it. It was boring and fun at the same time. If you want to figure out how that's possible, good luck. Also, oh my god, there was a ghost. I swear to god, there was a ghost. <laughs> there was... Okay, for context, someone at our store, we believe, is, is, is stealing stuff. We don't know who or anything, but we know it's allergy medicine. So we were trying to scan the cameras to see if we could see anyone like trying to steal some allergy medicine. And I'm looking at the cameras, and there's one for, like, one of the cameras where, like, literally, it because like, how our system works is it shows you, like, the time frame in which the camera it goes active, like, if it catches movement. I don't know if it's everywhere, but that's ours anyway. And it showed, like, like a three or four second time frame on a camera that it showed no movement other than like this big puff of what looked like white smoke just drifting across the camera like like from one side of the thing to the other and 
it's a ghost. It's gotta be a ghost. Because that was like at like 840. No one was there at all. It was dark in that area. Because no one was in it. It was just a puff of gas. <laughs> and that was it. I don't know where it could have came from. I don't know what happened. But it was a ghost. I know what happened. It was a ghost. <laughs> it, was, it was. It had to be a ghost. If it wasn't a ghost, then by gum, I've been lied to about how ghosts work. Because that was exact. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. My food's probably on fire. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, I've ruined it. I've ruined my meal. They're not too- Oh! They don't overcook! This is a great day to be me. Yeah. Yum. Delicious. Only cost me most of the fire. There we go, that's great. Um, uh, ooh, I have a flask. Cool. But, yeah, the only other thing that really, of note, that happened uh, during this week, I wasn't even there for. I was there for like some part of it, but not like the actual, you know, kit and caboodle, the whole get ash blash, you know, the, the craziness that happened. So, what happened, you may be asking. I hope. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm hoping you do. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> so, on Sunday, it was two of my co workers, they left at like 2 and I got in at 2 so they both left and then I was there to pick up the reins for a while until someone else came in with me and I got a, I got a phone call like 2 maybe like 210 215 and there is this lady who is just screaming at me like I was overcharged I was overcharged for my shampoo and I'm like okay well I mean I I don't know how to, I mean, I, I, can you bring the receipt in? And she's like, oh, but, but, but can you, can you, the two people who were just there, the two ladies, can you, can you, can you get them on the phone? I'm like, they, they left the two, I'm sorry, they, they're already gone. And she's like, well, I, I, can't you, like, can't you, like, refund it? Well, yeah, I have all the information. I'm like, no, no, I can't do that on the phone. You have to come in person. And she's like, okay. And then she just hangs up. And I don't see her for the day. And I know who this person is because they've been in before with issues with their receipts because they, try to math out what's going on on the receipt and then it doesn't actually wind up correct at all so then we have to spend like 15 minutes I remember I, one time I spent like 15 minutes at least on the phone trying to explain to her how the, the receipt wound up how it was and then after that she's like oh and then she just acted like I wasted her time anyway so that was fun uh, so she, she's done this before <laughs> she's done this before and I, I expected the same thing to kind of just come in and then just have a whole fun time uh but she didn't she actually comes in uh the next day so and that wouldn't been sunday it would have been monday it would have been monday it would have been monday because i came in two this time monday yeah because then the next day is when she comes in when it was the fourth so that's why i remember uh and she didn't come in when i was in she came like an hour before i showed up but who who was there on that morning were the two people that helped her in the first place, my other two co-workers. And <laughs> so, in, 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 it just goes insane. <laughs> so, she comes in with two bottles of shampoo, and she says she's charged for three. And she was indeed charged for three, but she brings two. Now, obviously, there's two sides to this coin. You can either be like, oh, shoot, she only has two bottles of soap. We gotta either give her a third one or a refunder for the one we didn't, she didn't buy. Or, you could say, hey, you could just have it at home and you're lying to us but this lady is very much so just an idiot she's not a thief or a rude person in that regard she wouldn't just say she didn't get something so i genuinely believe that she was charged a third time when she wasn't supposed to be <laughs> but i wasn't there to see it so i can't say <laughs> but what i do know <laughs> is what happened uh as a result because one of the co-workers who i will not name because <laughs> i don't name anybody in these stories Except, I guess, myself. Harris. Hi, it's me. <laughs> I'm not, I didn't show up yet. Um, I don't have any of this written down, by the way. So I'm just trying, going off of memory. Solely memory. From what they told me. Well, from, <laughs> so, my first co-worker uh, is the one who gets to deal with her first. And she was the one who also rang her up in the first place. So, like, the one of the two people. She was the one who actually scanned the items and put them in the bag and told her to go on her way. And she could swear on anything. That she scanned three bottles of shampoo and put them in the bag and put them for three. And which did not make this lady happy at all. She was going livid, going absolutely just insane, mad. She was not happy to hear. 
Okay, I thought I said spoiled, sorry. But <laughs> she was not happy. So she's like, no, oh, I was charged for three, and I, I only got two, and I, I need, I, I want you to refund me for the third one, because I didn't get the third one, and the other one's like, no, you got three, you got three. It, it, there was three, and I, I scanned it for free, and there's three. And after like five minutes of this, my second coworker B comes in to try to figure out what's going on. And she's like, what's the problem? She's like, yeah. she's like, I, I was charged for three. And she's like, and the coworker A is like, well, because you bought three. And then, co and then the lady's like, no, I, I, I've only got two and you charged me for three. And then coworker B is like, okay, well, you know, we can just go, like, you know, check the cameras and everything. We could see if it was actually that. So that way we can, you know, figure out what's going on here. And then coworker A is like, yeah, because they got three. They got three. They, 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 they bought three things. And then she's like, okay, no, but no, I got two. And then, so then both coworkers go into the office and check the cameras. And they go to the day and they go to the time and they see the transaction happen. But because of our camera placement, they can't exactly see the, the counter that would give away if they bought two or three. They can't really see it very well. Coworker B couldn't really see it that well because coworker A is pointing at the screen, going, "See, see, like, see right there. That's three. That's the third bottom. That's the three. That's three. You're three right there. That's three. <laughs> and coworker B is like, "I don't see it." But also, she coworker A looks like she will start stabbing people if she is proven wrong. So she's like, "Okay, you know, I mean, I can't see any, let alone two or three. So we're just gonna say that you got." <laughs> so they go in, they're like, hey, you know, I mean, we, as far as we're concerned, uh, it looks like you got three, so we can't refund you because you got three. And then coworker A is like, ha, you got three, you got three, you got three. Got three. And she's like, <laughs> and then coworker A, keep, they got coworker A, the, the lady, keep in mind, the lady who is trying to get the refund is, is a bit old and also very confused. <laughs> like, she'll like, she'll make a statement. And then you'll respond to that statement and she'll forget the statement that she even made. So she just gets confused why you're saying whatever you're saying. She's very lost in certain situations. So, <laughs> so coworker A goes up there and she's like, yep, yeah, there's three, there's three. And then, and then the lady's like, why is she saying three to me? Why does she just keep saying three? What does this even mean? Three. And then coworker A is like, three, they got three. And coworker B is trying to like explain what three means all while Coworker A is still just going, you got three, you got three, see ya, <laughs> three, you got three, <laughs> three. <laughs> and so, and then this just gets the lady super confused and super angry about everything. She's, she's just egging, Coworker A is egging on this lady who is then making Coworker A want to egg her on even more, which is just a, a mess and a half. So this goes on for like maybe 10 minutes or so of just them trying, of Coworker B trying to explain it. The lady trying to understand it while also just trying to, you know, get the refund still, regardless. And then coworker A just going, three, <laughs> three, not even with an explanation at this point. It's just, you get three, three, mm -mm, three, <laughs> mm -mm, three. <laughs> and which then makes the lady very confused. All in all, they didn't get a refund. They didn't, they walked out with their soap. And they, I don't know what comes after that. Well, I know what comes after that, nothing. Because that, that was the story. And then it was told to me. And I'm sure I missed some details or something. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Because the whole point of the story is what the hell was Coworker A doing? Just going, three, you got three. It's just three. You did three, three. And then it's just confused. I just love it because they, they, it gets to a point where the freaking lady doesn't even understand what the three means. So she's just standing there like, three? What are, you, what are you talking about? The three. Stop with the three. What does three mean? And he's just think of three. 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 <laughs> it's just, why is three? It was fucking hilarious to hear that whole story. I wish I was there because then I'd probably be able to tell it better. But instead, I'm just going off of a second hand. Uh, me. Three. It was, it was a mess. It was funny as fuck. <laughs> I, but yeah, so that's... That's retail, baby. Everyone, everyone enjoys a little bit of retail in their life, clearly. With that said, I still do actually really enjoy working in retail. And everyone I've ever worked with is the same. Like, that's like the first time I think anyone's ever seen Coworker A do whatever Coworker A just did there. So that was very funny. Just for here. Sorry, I'm still on fire with my sandwich. I know there was one time where I muted myself whenever I ate something. Um, I guess I should do that, but, you know, I just don't want to. <laughs> I'm lazy. Three. How about that, huh? Um, 
I'm trying to see if I had any ideas for conversation topics because I literally don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have anything in mind right now. I could just, just call it there. But I already did it this week in retail. Pretty recently. So I feel kind of stupid just ending it off with this is a retail again. Um, what do I talk about? I have no idea. I like board games. We talk about some board games. Uh, <laughs> this is dumb. Uh, I recently got Long Shot Dice Game, which is like a like a horse racing dice game. So much fun. I mean, like it's 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 literally a, one of the most fun things. It's like a roll and write game, which is like you roll a dice and depending on what the dice are, you like mark something on your board, which helps your odds at winning the game, which is cool. I like that. Uh, I like that sort of style of game. Because it's kind of, it's like, it's it's competitive, but not cutthroat competitive, which is, I feel just up my family's alley, especially. Because I feel like, I feel like it's non-cutthroat competitive stuff is a lot more, ah! There's a fly on my food. I gotta rip that piece off and I'm not eating that. So you could have done anything to my, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna down this sandwich. So give, give me a, like, five minutes. Okay. Fly is not dead, but it is around. Uh, and I have consumed my Smamich at a perfect time. He's not a day 82. Uh, good sandwich. 10 out of 10. What did he get? But I ate it already. Uh, so long shot. Very, very good, just fun, casual, competitive dice game. Uh, with a, with a theme that I love. I, <laughs> this is a thing. Whenever there's any sort of, like, gambling in video games, especially when it comes to, like, two things. Horses and roulette. Roulette, I fucking love roulette. But horses, too. I really love any, like, like, when I play, like, GTA Online with my friends, I would literally just put money on horses and watch them go. <laughs> just because I thought it was fun. I love that. I love anything that simulates that. I don't know if I'd really like an actual betting track. I feel like that's a lot of pressure and actually, like, means something, so I'm, I wouldn't really want to do that. But, uh, the, the simulation of it is very fun. I love, like, race games. There's, like, a game called, like, The Tortoise and the Hare or something like that. It's, like, it's, it's, I'm pretty sure that's what, what it is. It's, it's literally just, like, a game where, like, you are, like, betting cards and, like, you, you put cards down to make animals move on the track and, like, you're betting on which ones you want to win, so that's which ones you put the cards down for. I love just racing games like that, like just silly things where like, they have these different abilities and stuff, they can like make little things. I just like board games in general, like there's one called Steam Up that uh, looks really, really fun and I played it on tabletop and I'm probably going to do that for uh, table, uh, for one, this upcoming one, which I just realized is this Monday, <laughs> uh, forgot about that, <laughs> you're not going. It's been a very lazy couple of weeks for me, so I, it's gonna be a little, it, things will still come out, don't worry, things are gonna get done, I'm not, you know, just, just calling it stupid and shitty, uh, we're gonna get some stuff done, uh, I'll have that out, um, but, what am I trying to say, Steam Up, very, very, very fun game, I played a game with it, I'm gonna play another one for Table for One, uh, it's, it's literally just like, there's dim sum on the middle of the table, and you essentially like play cards to get like tokens, and you get tokens. You can spend the tokens on the dim sum bowls, and then like you wanna. It's 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 very inc it's an incredibly easy game with a lot of just fun little extra aspects to it. And I'm a really big fan, and I think my my sisters would like playing that, so I'm wanna get it because uh, I saw it at Barnes and Noble, which is where I find most of my board games at Barnes and Noble, and then I'll take a picture. If I really like it, and then I'll try to play it on tabletops, and before I actually pr like purchase it, uh, well, I'll do I'll buy one that I really really like, like with that outing I got long shot, and then I'll like take pictures of the other ones that I like to see which one I want to get next, and then Steam Up is absolutely going to be the next one. So I really hope it's still there by the time I go back, which uh, shouldn't be too far away from the future. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I want me that game, because I feel like they, my sisters would really like that. My, my older sister's coming back in August, so I'm going to get to play board games with them, and that makes me happy. <laughs> I just, I love board games. Board games are 
genuinely just some of the most fun that I have with anything. And I wish my friends liked them more. <laughs> I feel like I talk about this like every other time I talk about board games. They do like them though, like we played Nemesis. I think that was probably the last board game that we played together and it was a very fun time. I think they enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'd like to play more. I want to ask them to play more board games. I, 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 to be fair, I think we'd play them more if I asked more, so maybe I should just ask more, but... Yeah, oh, I just, I just asked for it. Just, just, just the thing, you know, you, you can't read my mind, you know. You can't uh, let that let that be a lesson to use at home, you know. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta speak your mind, you know. They, they, they can't speak it for you. They can only speak their own mind. So, where does that leave us? Hmm? I, if that fly comes back around, by the way, I'm, what, I'm just gonna try to kill it. I, I haven't seen it since I finished my sandwich. It might have been on the sandwich at this point. I have no idea. Oh, I do know because I saw it as I was bringing my plate inside, but I do know for a fact that there is a fly still in this room, and if I see it, I'm going to go spot at it, so you'll have to just hear that for a while. Um, but, yeah, board games are super, super fun. I, I always suggest board games as just a thing to do. Uh, what's a good board game to start with? I feel like everyone, I feel like a lot of, like, the most, like, basic board games that are, like, a suit, like, a like, when everyone, anyone asks, like, what's a good way to get into board games that are, like, more complicated than, like, Uno or something? Like, I feel like the same sort of games pop up, like, Catan, Ticket to Ride, and some other shit that I can't really name, because I don't know. But Catan and Ticket to Ride are two of the very big ones in that little field of games that's like, oh, you love this Love Letter? Love Letter's one that everyone fucking talks about. Love Letter's good, and I can see why. All those three, all those three games, very, very good. Uh, but they wouldn't be my first choice. But granted, my friends do actually really like Catan. They like Catan. I think I don't think I've played Ticket to Ride with them. I should do that. that I feel like that would be a very easy, very just fun game to play with them. Um, Ticket to Ride's fun. I played with my sisters, and they had a fucking blast. So that was good. I just board games. I don't know what it is. I feel I I just because I feel like board games give you more of a reason to just talk to the people around you. You know, because like with video games, especially like with my friends, a lot of the conversation that we have is just based off of the game, and less so just chatting with each other, just having a good time, and just enjoying each other's company. Like it's more focused on winning the game or playing the game or whatever. I like more of a lax, chill conversation sometimes, and a lot of the times actually, and that's what board games kind of offer. So I, I do enjoy that a lot. And one thing that I also have recently discovered is that my cat soup likes it a lot too anytime i set up a board game doesn't matter where it is in the house he comes to sit on it <laughs> or like sit on part of it and like smack at the pieces and stuff he gets he loves board games and i couldn't be happier that i chose that man to be my favorite cat of the ones that we have but yeah so <laughs> board games are great oh i just just my hobbies lately let's just talk about that that'll be like my recent hobbies or something or my Go to games or go to things to do in the, the daytime. Uh, ooh, I just recently another purchase I got from Goodwill was catchphrase. I'll pop the camera back on. You guys got to see catchphrase. My friends, when I when I oh, let me show you what it is. So right here, yeah, hello. <laughs> catchphrase. So it's literally just like a little disc, a pretty big disc actually. So you it you like you whoop. There we go. It's like an LED screen, and you choose a category. So you can do like the world, or places, or science, tech. Oh, okay, I hit the button a few times. Entertainment. And then you just start, and then how it works? It's like you're supposed. It gives you a word or a phrase or a person or something, and you have to try to get your team to guess the the name of whatever you're trying to get them to say, uh, without saying the word. So like if the word here, and also it's timed. So Frankenstein. You'd say like Green Man with uh, with things in its and it's like, like spikes, like nails, nails in his head. Like, but you can do whatever the hell you want to get him to say it. And when they say it, you go next, and you get another one. And then it's like okay, uh, you know, movies when they're when they're when they're reviewed, they're like judged off of how much they make at the. And then you're like, well, it's box office, you idiot. And then you go cool. And then uh, Kate Moss. I said it. Oops, gotta keep going. And then you just kind of go, and then it eventually stops you. And then. And then it makes a sound when it stops. We'll just keep going. Oh, well, we'll just keep it going in the background so you hear the stopping sound. It's a good stopping sound. And then the other team gets to go, I think, with the same category. And then whichever team gets more of them, they get the point. And then we just kind of go around in a circle. I don't entirely know how the point system works because it's first to seven wins. So I don't know 
I don't remember how that works, <laughs> but uh, here it goes. It's getting there. It's, it's gonna go boom. It's going boom. It, it, I haven't touched it in a while, so it's, it's gone dark again, but I can just hit next. It doesn't make a difference. Here's my Colin Firth. It's from 2009, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of pretty older stuff. But, uh, what about the uh, Kate Blanchett? Everyone knows her. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man 2. Iron Man 3. Avengers Endgame. Iron Man. Did you guess it? Let's keep going. You guys know... <laughs> We're dead. We died. <laughs> no, but then I guess keeps going back and forth. This is a very fun game. This is one of the games that we... I'm gonna go. <laughs> but this is one of the games that we played a lot in, like, family gatherings and stuff. Like, whenever we go to, like, my grandma's house to, like, for, like, 4th of July or whatever. We'd play that. So that was fun. And I was finding that. And then I was like, oh, let me see if it works. So I took it out of the thing, and I, like, hit the buttons. And then there were still batteries in it, somehow. I took a screwdriver out to put batteries in it. But the batteries were, like, very dead. It's so, like I turned it on, it went, went it, like, flashed the screen, and then it went off. So I brought my own batteries. I unscrewed it. I took it out, and then I hit it. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's on. It's working. But then I realized, oh, no, the next button isn't working. And why isn't it working? And I'm, like, freaking out to my friends because I'm really sad that it didn't work. And I really, really wanted this thing to work. So I really like this. And then there's a little button, like a reset button, on the back of the thing. So I pushed it a little pin into it, and then it just worked magically. The next button just worked, and all the stuff lit up properly. It was amazing. And now it works. And now we get to play that whenever my freaking sister comes back. And it's going to be great. If you guys couldn't tell, <laughs> I enjoy my time with my family <laughs> and especially my older sister she's just one of the greatest people <laughs> that you could ever ask for if I'm being honest she's, she's just always always willing to do things with you under the caveat that you're not an annoying asshole about it <laughs> so I'm a big fan so I, I don't try to pester her too much and I know she has a lot of other things on her plate so I don't try to pester her too much regardless but if you if I ever like, oh, I have this board game, you want to go to try? She's always down. Like, hey, you want to play this video game? You want to play Minecraft for a while? Like, we'll just, like, one of the things I did as a kid a lot was just spend literally hours after school. Like, we'd spend, like, days in a row just playing Minecraft together in, like, a different world. We'd be like, okay, new world, and then we just make a whole thing. <laughs> like, this is a very weird side tangent, but the day that we found out my grandmother passed away, we were just at home playing Minecraft, and we heard, and we were like, oh, shit. That's really sad. We should... Just, can, can we do anything about it? No. Well, let's, we'll just keep playing Minecraft. <laughs> Obviously, you know, it stung a little bit more than that. But also, our grandma was kind of... Eh. <laughs> you know? But no, she was great. She was a great person. And it's really sad to see her go. But yeah, we just... Minecraft. <laughs> Mostly just my sister. My sister was always there. And she was always just super cool and chill. And she was just... She made any situation just way better whether it was a sad one making it nicer or a funny one making it funnier is great it is awesome i just genuinely enjoy the company <laughs> of a good person and she is exactly that so and the rest of my family is too but we're, we're not here to just sob story about <laughs> my family even though i think that was actually a possible topic i think i was gonna be like i have the best family and here's why uh, which is very true. I could do that now, but I don't have anything written down. So, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to talk about bees and why I'm checking. Okay, listen, I don't know what it is about bees and maggots, but what if, if anyone in the world were to ask me a question that I was not expecting, the immediate answers in my head are bees and maggots. Like, if I'm just trying to, like, improv something, like, just say something, like, oh, hey, there's a, there's a truck... Crashing outside and there's bees flying out. I didn't even. Th I, 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 bees was immediately in my head. Not like milk, or I, I, I immediately thought maggots. I, I don't know what it is about those two things, but they're in my head. They are glued into my face, and I cannot get them out. And I don't know why. And I don't. I don't necessarily hate it, but I don't really like it either. <laughs> but it's funny, so I guess I guess I kind of like it. It's pretty funny. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> it's just I just don't know. I have no idea. I was always in the middle of cleaning my room. I was like, oh shit, I forgot to do this. So I'm, I'm here doing it. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I guess like Pokemon? The new the new DLCs are coming out too. <laughs> I think, anyway. I'm, I haven't bought them yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Is, uh, 
I did like Scarlet and Violet. Maybe we'll do the DLCs here. I don't know. We'll think about it. Definitely. We'll probably. We'll probably go back on. I enjoyed doing Pokemon on here. Even though, <laughs> like most story games on this channel, they I, it outstayed its welcome for quite a while. Uh, but I had a good. I had, I had a lot of fun playing it regardless. So sucks to be it. Uh, lately, I've been just been kind of just completing the Pokédex. Uh, I don't have friends who own the game, so I can't get any of the Scarlet stuff. So I've just been doing a lot of Wonder Trading in hopes that somehow someone sends me like a freaking like a Metal Claw Sizor or something. <laughs> but I think I can get them from Terror Raids, but I haven't found one yet. Palafin. I've been trying to get a fucking Palafin Terror Raid for the longest time. Can't get that. Worth a damn. Slow King too. Hmm. So much fun. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've just got a. I used to having an itch for games lately. Like, we, well, me and my friends just played freaking Terraria for a couple of hours yesterday, and I got hooked onto it again. I love Terraria, and now I have a really good idea for my birthday. So I have a little bit of work and that I have to do. But I just freaking I love that game. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to playing again. Probably tonight. I assume tonight. I'm off today, so I might as well play tonight hope everyone else is good to go, because <laughs> that would be so much fun. I love Terraria. Terraria's awesome. We're playing with like, the Spirit Mod, which I, I definitely have touched before, but not much, especially recently. Uh, and I'm looking forward to continuing. I like making houses in that game. It was very fun. I really enjoy the house-making experience. Uh, I remember one of my other friends was always house duty, but he just made a bunch of like towers and stuff. And then like when pylons and stuff came out, I was like, oh, I can make like themed houses? And that's all I've done since. And I can't stop. <laughs> like, they're, they're out there exploring the underground desert. Like, oh my god, there's an ant lion. Run, run. And I'm over there like, ah, yeah, I want to... This hat rack looks nice on this specific spot in the house. Compared to over there where I had it before. This looks way better. <laughs> it's dumb. But I like it. That's what I like doing, so whatever. Don't, don't, don't think I'm good at it, by the way. I'm not. <laughs> like, like many things, I'm... That I like to do, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> That's fine. That's okay. As long as you enjoy doing something, who cares if you're good at it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess that's it. I, mean, I, I, I should have stopped this like 20 minutes ago, but here we are, <laughs> still going. And I'm gonna stop it now. I don't know what to call this one. I'm probably not gonna call it anything. I'm just gonna call it a some useless rambling whole bunch of nothing. There we go. Whole bunch of nothing. Call it there. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you all for tuning in. Oh, 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 what am I doing? I'm all out of whack. I'm all out of spice. Sink to D. Sink. I'm all out of sink today. Uh, thank you all for tuning in to Stranded Deep. In conversation. This is always fun. And uh, as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everybody.